In this video, we're going over how to change your rate plan for Metro by T-Mobile or Metro PCS. Welcome back to another video. I'm your tech guide, Wayne. And the video today, I'm gonna to walk you through how to change your rate plan on a Metro by T-Mobile or Metro PCS phone. Um, if you, there's a very easy process to change your rate plan without having to go into the store. You can simply open an app on your phone and you can make adjustments to how much you're paying for your bill. You can also check to see what other things are on your bill and you can make those changes from this app as well. So we're going to look for the app. It's called my Metro and it comes pre-installed on all Metro by T-Mobile phones. So I'm going to, on this particular phone, I'm gonna swipe up to get to where all the apps are saved. This is called the app drawer. And I have a folder that says Metro by T-Mobile. Tap on the folder and you're gonna to go to the My Metro app right here. Now this is showing how much the bill is. The bill is $60 right now. It shows how much data I've used. Uh, and it shows my rate plan. I'm on the $40 rate plan. So. If I want to change the plan that I'm on, I can simply tap where it says plan details. And it's showing me again, I'm paying $40. Um, I'm getting 10 gigabytes of data and it shows me all the other benefits of the plan. Now I can tap on change plan here. Now in order to change the plan, it is going to ask you to input your pat your pin first before it'll allow you to move forward. Okay, so you're gonna just tap in the box that says pin, and I'm gonna enter my pin right now. So my pin is entered. Now, if you forgot your pin, no problem. You can just tap the forgot pin, and it will take you through the steps to recover your pin first, and then you can move forward. So I'm gonna hit submit because I've already put my pin in. You can also select the fingerprint login option. So once you turn this on, you won't have to keep entering your pin in the app. You can just use your fingerprint to um, allow you to uh, you know, submit your pin. Let's hit submit. Okay, so now it's gonna give me my options for my rate plan. Now, guess what? I'm on the $40 plan, I'm getting 10 gigs of data, and you know what? I want unlimited data. So I will be moving my plan up to a higher plan, um, either the 50 or the 60. Now, the difference is with the 50, I would get hotspot, five gigs, and on the 60, I would get 15 gigs of hotspot, and I would also get Amazon Prime included. So. I would have to make that decision of which one I want over the other. Now, for those of you that are trying to lower your bill, you can select the $30 talk text five gigabyte plan. But keep in mind, if you go to that plan, you're going from 10 gigs to five gigs. So you're actually gonna end up with less data. So be careful with moving your plan down because you're gonna get less data. So I'm gonna select the $50 plan box for now. I'm gonna hit switch to this plan. And it says, and when would you like this change to go into effect? So you can make this change immediate or you can make it when the bill is due. Now I would encourage you guys, if you're moving the plan down, you should wait until the due date. You don't want it to be immediate. But if you're moving the plan up, and you're going from 10 gigs to let's say unlimited, you'd want that to be immediate because then you're gonna be able to tap into that extra data uh, as soon as you make this change. So in this case, I'm gonna hit, um, I'm gonna hit next month for mine just because I don't wanna to have to pay any extra fees until the bill is due. So that's the other benefit of hitting next due date is you won't have a due balance until the bill is due, okay? I wanna say that again, make sure you got that. If you hit immediately, you would have a due balance if you're raising the plan up. But if you hit next due date, then you'll have to wait until the bill is due again, and then you'll pay the increase in your rate plan. So I'm gonna hit next due date, and then give it a few seconds, and here it is, summary of changes. It's showing that my plan is gonna go up now to $50 plan, not the 40 and my bill is gonna be due on the 23rd. 
And so this is your last uh, time to review the change you've made. And then you're gonna hit the submit to um, send it through and that's it. Now it's gonna make the change or it's gonna basically log what you selected and that's it. Your rate plan is now changed. So hope you guys found that helpful. I wanted to walk you through that process because I know a lot of people go into stores to do this and it's really easy to do it right from your phone as long as you know what um, options to select and that's it. All right. If you found the video helpful, make sure you hit that like button down below. Consider hitting that subscribe button to stay tuned for more videos and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care and as always, have a good one.